Sometimes you step off the busy road and go seeking. How we find ourselves here, we don't know. There appear to be clear paths, but there are many. Does it matter which ones we choose? Should we think about it too much? There is beauty at the end of the destination. That is something we do know. But there is also beauty along the way. Sometimes I miss that. The beauty in the details along the everyday path. The changes in scenery as the path unfolds. The excitement of walking that path, envisioning what it leads to, but not fully knowing for sure. And the final revelation, a moment to soak in. Life, in its essence, is beautiful and to be treasured. I want to appreciate the details. I don't want to miss them. For the details are what makes the revelation so grand. Hello everyone and welcome back to The Daily Connoisseur. I hope you enjoyed that little jaunt around the English countryside. On the day we filmed that, we weren't really planning on going to that lake, so I wasn't appropriately dressed. I was dressed more for the city or maybe for a boat because I was more nautical. But sometimes that happens in life and you step off the busy road, as I said, and you find yourself in a different location, adapting to it and choosing different paths. The beautiful scenery over there really compelled me to write that little piece for you and I hope you enjoyed it. So thanks for all your comments. If you saw my Instagram post or if you're in the Sheik Society, you already know that the funeral happened. It was a beautiful celebration of life for my father-in-law. And I want to thank all of you again for your wonderful, kind comments. Sorry, I keep moving this because the tripod that I bought for this trip is really bad and I don't think, I think everything looks crooked behind me, but sorry about that. <laughs> okay, let's start off with what I've been having for breakfast. Now I will be doing a whole eating routines, intermittent fasting in England video because a lot of you have been asking about that. So I'm not going to go into that here, but I will show you what I've been making myself for breakfast here. Now this is in no way English. I'm not like when in Rome eating an English breakfast by any means. This is just what I've found myself to be eating. So the main thing that I've been having for breakfast each day is yogurt, some form of granola and muesli with berries, and then something else to go with it. Like here you'll see I'm having a quiche. This quiche is really good. It's from Sainsbury's. And then I'm having their Greek yogurt, which the Greek yogurt in England is really delicious. It's different than the one in America. With some granola that has nuts in it. It's like a protein granola I found at the grocery store and some blueberries. And then we have an espresso machine in the apartment. So that's what I'm having. It's like a cappuccino basically. And then I'm having some juice. So this is a typical breakfast. Here's another one. This may seem a little weird to some of you, but I have kind of strange taste in the morning. But this is the typical, you know, yogurt, granola, and strawberries. And then I have some pate. <laughs> I know that's weird, pate on toast for breakfast, but I do like something a little savory and meaty too for breakfast. So that's what I'm having here along with some coffee and more juice. And then on this day, you'll see when I show you what's in my fridge later, I'm having, again, Greek yogurt, the protein granola with some apricots and grapes. And then I found a little fruit compote at the grocery store. So I like going to local grocery stores when I travel and finding interesting foods that I don't have back in America. This fruit compote, it looks like jam, but it's not. It's like a boiled down fruit and I guess it's berry compote with no sugar in it. So it's a little tart. And I want to recreate this when I get back to America because it's so delicious. And then this is also very strange. Ben thinks I'm so weird for having this for breakfast, but I had two little slices of French bread with butter and terra mazzolata, which is like a seafood spread. <laughs> I know it's weird that and the pate, they're more like appetizers for the afternoon type thing, but I don't know. What can I say? You like what you like. So again, coffee and juice. I am in no way saying that this is an English breakfast. In fact, it's so probably not an English breakfast. 
but this is what I've been craving while I've been here um, in England in the summertime. I have a few travel essentials that I brought with me that I wanted to share with you. Two things that are very interesting. Number one, my jewelry case, which I love. So people always ask, how do you travel with jewelry? What should you bring? And this is a little case from Design Works Inc., the same people who do the journals. And they have a bunch of cute ones in different colors with these big tassels that have little sayings on them. This one says, treasure me, and I love it, I chose it. So this is how I've been carrying my jewelry. You have a little compartment for your bracelets. There's a little pouch there and then places for earrings, watch, um, necklaces. The only thing I would suggest, because I put two necklaces in the part where the bracelets are and they got tangled on the flight, so make sure you pack your necklaces, like wrap them in something if you're going to put them in here, if they're prone to tangle. But that's how I've carried my jewelry. Oh my gosh, I love this little case. Before I would just pack them in random envelopes and, or even in my makeup bag and that was never good, so I'm glad I found that. And then for perfume, I have been bringing the Pinrose Petals. These are perfect to travel with because they're like little wipes that you wipe on your skin. And you know how I'm obsessed with the Three Scents, Secret Genius, Mystical Misfit, and Merry Maker. In fact, my 17-year-old niece stopped me the first time she saw me here and she said, what are you wearing? You smell so good. So I gave her uh, one of the petals and she really liked it. But I love these because they're subtle, it's like a lotion. You know when you wear a scented lotion, it's not too overpowering, but they just smell so good and people remark on how nicely you smell. So I've been bringing those. And then on the flight, I traveled for the first time with the Nomad Lane carry-on bag. I put my laptop in it. I, there's so many compartments in it. I put snacks for the kids, chargers, I had my book. It fit really well under the seat. That was a big winner, so that was really good as well. So those are kind of the travel essentials that I brought. As for clothing, as you'll see, I'm going to give you a small wardrobe tour here, but I packed my 10 item wardrobe with a few changes for the English weather. We're going to get there in a second, but first I'll show you a few outfits of the day that I quickly filmed. I've been loving the monochrome looks, and for some reason I've only filmed the white or cream looks here, <laughs> but I've really been enjoying these looks this summer, but I've been also wearing a lot of black, so I'll wear the black Michael Starr shorts or the black uh, Lily Silk trousers with a black top, and I've in been enjoying that as well, as well as the nautical looks. So right now, let's just have a little tour of the wardrobe and I'll show you what I brought. Okay, so keep in mind that these are not just my clothes hanging in here, but I do have Ben's um, suit for the funeral, my dress, for the funeral and then the girls clothes for the funeral these are mine right here so um, a key note to think about is that because i'm traveling from california to england the weather is quite different the way i adjusted that in my 10 item capsule wardrobe was this i couldn't bring my exact california 10 item capsule wardrobe because the weather is different here when we first got here it was really hot then it became cold and rainy. So the way I atoned for that was by bringing some of the spring pieces that I retired for the California heat, but would be perfect for the English weather. So the APC dress came back, and that's what I have here. And then the Lily Silk shirt dress, the long sleeve one, I brought that to England as well. I also brought this extra, the sky dress here, because again, it's more formal in England. And I'm always talking about that, about um, thinking about what your location is, what are your circumstances. I live in California, California is very laid back and casual, but in England there's more opportunity to dress up, so that's how I um, atoned for that. And so far I've worn the APC dress several times, so bringing this was a really good choice. I have yet to wear the Lily Silk shirt dress, but I'm sure um, I'll wear that soon, and then as well as this too. Now of course uh, we didn't have clothes for the funeral, so we had to purchase those. We went shopping for that, and somewhere down the line, not anytime soon, but I'll do um, a topic about that because I think it's important when people are grieving to not have to worry about things like what to wear. So it's good to just know the etiquette and the protocol there. I also brought um, my cashmere sweater and the courtside sweaters from Mercy, for example, layering pieces to deal with the unpredictable weather in England. And finally, here's what's in our fridge. 
Okay, people from England or Europe are gonna think that I am like nuts, but th what you have to understand is that when you're from a different country, little things from the grocery store are charming to foreigners like me. So there's things in here that I think are really neat and you probably see them every day and think, what, what is wrong with you, Jennifer? But I just have to show you what is in our fridge. So you know that I am a very bad vlogger because I get embarrassed. So I wanted to film at the grocery store. It's just Sainsbury's, um, but you know, for someone who is from America or another country other than England or the UK, it's always fun to see what types of food there is and it's so different. So I wanted to share a few of the things that we have here. Some of this was here when we arrived, like there was a lot of chocolate milk, which is a complete treat for my kids. Um, I don't know what that beeping noise is, I'm sorry. But let's go through a few of the things that are here. So first of all, the Greek yogurt in England, I've mentioned this before, is totally different than the one in America and I like it way better over here. The one in America is a little sour and really thick, but this is more like a whole, a whole milk yogurt that I would find in America, it's so good. This is the cream that I've been putting in my coffee in the morning. Um, what else? This is just milk and stuff. We have some yogurts. There's just the yogurt game in England is very strong. <laughs> so we have various yogurts for the kids um, and me. And then, so I wanted to show you, I haven't tried this yet, but I'm looking forward to having this for breakfast because every day I've been having whole milk Greek yogurt with granola and then fruit. But this time, I'll talk about this in a second. So tomorrow, I'm going to try this fruit compote mixed berry. It was right next to the yogurt, so um, anyway, that looks really good to me. This is terra mazzolata. I love this. I wish they had this in America. It is a seafood spread, seafood dip, and I'm not quite sure what it is, but it's very good. And then we have, you know, cold chicken, some coleslaw, some pasta, things like that to eat. Um, lots of bacon and salami. They wanted crepes, so we have crepes. Some pastas in here. There's some raviolis. Let's see if I can show you. Yep, yeah, what is this? Wild mushroom ravioli. And the cheeses are really good here too. Let me move this down. Still trying to figure this thing out. Okay, so we have some British cheddar. And uh, what is this? This is Dew de Montagne, sweet and creamy French cheese. I'm really looking forward to trying that. And you know, just basically lots of fruit and things like that, Actimels, the kids like those. Um, and that's it. So, I mean, this might not be that exciting for you, but I like seeing different foods from grocery stores um, in different places. We have a ton of fruit. The fruit is really good here. There's some cherries and blueberries and pomegranates and things like that. So just wanted to show you that. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed. And in the meantime, keep calm and remain classy and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.